I bought myself the Flamma Mini Modulation Pedal here. I bought it to start building a rig for a strange musical project. When I was looking for information for this, I found a few unboxings, a few reviews on it, but the big problem with it is that it is, as you can see, kind of a multi-effect unit, and everybody's kind of reviewing how good the tremolo is, or how good the chorus is, how good the general modulation effects are. Me, personally, I'm kind of a one piece of equipment does one task sort of guy, so I think if you need to have a good chorus, buy a chorus pedal. But there's a reason that I love multi-effects anyway. Multi-effects are awesome for uh, beginners to start playing around with what effects you like and what effects you don't like. They're great for building a large arsenal quickly, and then when you see what you need and what you like, then you can start breaking out individual pedals that do those individual things well. But the biggest reason I love multi-effects so much is that they have weird crap in them. So this one has a lot of your typical modulation effects in it. It has a chorus, a flange, a tremolo, a phaser, a vibratone, like a rotary speaker sim. It's got an auto wah. It's got a stutter that's going to be basically a really heavy tremolo. But it also has what it calls a liquid function, which is going to be that weird, watery, kind of super oversaturated chorus sound. And the reasons why I bought it is because it also has a ring modulator and it has a lo-fi kind of like 8-bit video game kind of filter. In every other review that I watched of this particular pedal, the weird stuff was an afterthought. People were telling you how good they thought the chorus or the tremolo effect were, but then all these strange things were kind of an after effect where they were just like, oh yeah, also it does a ring mod and they played it for like 10 seconds. Oh yeah, it does this weird lo-fi thing. Ha ha, silly noise. And then they moved on to the rest of the normal modulation. So today we're just going to play around with the weird stuff. because That's why I bought this pedal. I want to use it as a strange lo-fi effect and you cannot beat the price right now. These are on Amazon for $39.99. Like I said, they're great if you're a beginner and you don't have a large arsenal of modulation pedals, but even just for buying it for one or two of these effects, I'm pretty pleased with a $40 price tag. Let's see if I'm pleased with the quality, if it sounds how I want it to sound, and uh, check out this thing in general, all right? We'll start with the unboxing. Now, being from Amazon, of course, this shipped in just an envelope, really. So as you can see, it's a little bit dinged up getting to me. Of course, this will have shipped without a power supply, and it is a mini pedal, so you need some sort of external power supply to power it. It's what it says on the tin. There's your chorus, flange, tremolo, phase, vibrato, rotary, liquid, auto wash, stutter, ring mod, and low bit. Now there's a speed control, there's a depth control, and then there's a control control. My understanding is the control control changes what parameter it changes depending on what effect you have selected and we've got instructions let's see all right that's all your standard information i don't have specific information about what parameter is controlled for each effect but that's all right we'll figure it out as we go let's plug it in by the way, the practice area is a bit of a mess, but this is kind of what I'm running it through right now. I'm working on repairing this PV Backstage 50. I'm going to build it into its own head. It was a combo. I found it on the side of the road, all busted up with a bad case and a wonky speaker. So it's going to become a 50 watt head for my half stack here. But until I've got a case, it's kind of uh, propped up like this. There's its reverb tank. I'm just going to utilize the tuner, the distortion, and this mini mod pedal to play around for this demo. Let's get to it. That's just the chorus maxed out. <laughs> All right, I suppose it's important to note that the speed and depth controls go a lot deeper than a lot of individual modulation pedals might. So the chorus and the flanger already make some weird damn noises. Check it out. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I do like a very unsubtle tremolo, so actually, I'm really loving these multi-effects that are actually in it. Either way, it's at least a fun recording tool. It's great for a studio or something like that, because you can really get that weird stuff out of it. I still haven't even played with the ring mod. I still haven't even played with the 8-bit. Let's go straight to the 8-bit, because that's what I really bought this for. That's what I'm really excited for. <laughs> is literally exactly what I bought this pedal for. I haven't found a pedal that does just this individual effect, at least not for anywhere close to $40. Everything that I've seen that does these bit crushing effects, does these 8-bit like fake synth effects, stuff like that, they tend to be, you know, $200 plus boutique pedals, and I'm not a $200 plus boutique pedal kind of guy. So, Super excited for this. This is going straight on my mini mod bass pedal board. I've got a couple other pieces of equipment to test out for that. It's going to be weird. It's going to be real weird. I'm messing around with the idea of implementing some stupid ideas I had as a teenager as I started to play bass. There's going to be drop A tuning. There's going to be piccolo bass. There's going to be strange things. There's going to be a lot of modulation pitch shifting, and uh, lo-fi old-school video game battle music. Sounds like a Pokemon call, you know, from Gen 1. All right, let's mess with the ring mod a little bit.
Sorry, it's the only song I know that uses a ring modulator, and probably for good reason. The effect is particularly weird and hard to control because, of course, it does throw you way out of tune. I mean, this is me setting this thing really subtly and playing a chord. This is going to be an A minor, if you can't tell. I promise I'm in two. Last one we're going to try today is going to be the liquid effect. My understanding is that it's basically just a really dense, like kind of watery, wobbly chorus. So like I was saying, the normal effects in this are actually pretty decent. They're a higher quality than I expected for a $40 multi-effect sort of thing. But most importantly, that strange lo-fi thing is in fact that kind of 8-bit, 16-bit video game noise sort of thing. It did run away from me a little more than I expected, depending on the settings that I had set. And it does seem like starting with everything kind of at 12 o'clock and then just making small adjustments from there is the best place to be for getting that tone out of that lo-fi effect. But most lo-fi effects, they give you that tinny speaker like telephone filter. And this is exactly the lo-fi I was looking for, was like a strange old synth. It is going to come in handy with the project I have in mind with the pedal board and rig build that I have in mind. The next thing that I will be testing out for it is another cheap Amazon pedal. It's a $30 octave pedal that does uh, an octave up, an octave down, and two octaves down in addition to the bass frequency. That's going to be the next thing that we check out. As long as this works as well as that does, then we're going to start building the pedal board that they're all going on after that. The next to last piece of the puzzle for that will be finishing that PV amp so that I have something to run it through without, you know, loose circuit boards. And then we're going to have to put together, I think, two custom bases that are going to get played through this rig. Stay tuned. I know I don't put these videos out too often. You know, it is just a hobby. So, you know, they, they come out as I have time to get them done. But that is the current project is to get this strange set of uh, modulation base effects cobbled together into the weirdest rig I've probably built in my lifetime. Stick around to check it out and I'll see you around. <laughs> 